Are we rolling cameras? We rolling? You got that titty? It's nice and hard. How y'all doing tonight? Nah, don't, hey, don't be like that. I start walking through the crowd picking on people. How y'all doing up here, man? Let's have some fun, though, because... We're here for this, uh, this silly-ass comedy that I provide, so uh, let's get right to it. All the fellas in the house, y'all like making sock babies like me? Am I the only one? I'm the only one? You, you know about sock babies? You done reached in the laundry and got your hand caught up in that one sock? Yeah, sick shit, man. I uh, recently just met this female. She wanted to come over. Wash the brother's laundry. She wanted to be all, let me get all nice up with dough. Maybe I can get on his list of fuckables. And uh, I was like, you know, you go ahead, you go ahead and wash that laundry for me. You know what I'm saying? She takes my shit in the laundry room. She started washing it. She comes back. She's like, dough, I found some socks in this bag. And they're all stuck together and shit. All sticky and wet. And I was like, oh, shit, don't touch that bag. That's all, uh, those are my lost babies in there. Um, yes, I practice sock babies because, you know, when the woman ain't trying to give it up, I'm going to get mine. To let you know that right now. I'm that guy. If a woman is on that bullshit, I will get you. I will slip shit in your water. Because gas is a lot. I picked this chick up from Summerlin. Hot, nice ass woman. Woo, shit. Took her back to the house. We watching Netflix and shit. She wanted to be into the black nature, so we watched Django. <laughs> we watching it, you know, we were having fun. I smoked like two Kush blunts with her, because I'm trying to get her loose. Sometimes the marijuana can help. So, you know, at the two blunts and stuff, you know, I'm rubbing on her leg and shit. And she's steadily pushing my arm away, like, no, nah, you can't handle none of this. I'm like, you know what? Damn that. So I do it. Most average guys do when the pussy ain't going your way. You give them alcohol. I chose 211. If you don't know about 211, it gets you super, super loose. Just the way I like it. I thought because she was black, though, that she had a strong stomach and she can hold that shit. I found out the wrong way. The bitch threw up all over my couch and shit. Real shitty ass night, but I still fuck, though. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> I still got the pussy. Cause look at me, I'm fat and shit. It's okay, you can make fun. I got titties, it's okay. I wear bras sometimes. No, I'm playing on that shit, I don't wear bras too often, sports bras. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I get it in. But it's hard to get pussy when you got, you know, this, you know, this stuff. I can't show you cause I have those chain whips on my stomach, you know? We call them stretch marks. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, man, uh, take a little time out, man. Give a shout out to the bartenders over there serving y'all those wonderful, expensive-ass drinks. Is it still happy hour? Happy hour is over? Oh, that's just on Friday. My fault. There's no happy hour here. I was bullshit. Um, give it up for the Mexican dude next door serving that fucking food. That shit's great. He's a worker. I like him. Not only does he cook, clean, and do dishes, he also walks around here and serve you all that nice ass food. He be looking confused sometimes though. Y'all ever watched me? Ah. There he is right there, my nigga. Ah. I don't know what the fuck he's saying though, but I was like, bring me some barbecue sauce. That motherfucker brought me marinara sauce. I'm talking about, I see right there with your white apron on. Serving that chimichanga. I didn't know that shit was that big. That shit was fulfilling. I'm full. It's harsh. My stomach hurt. I think he poisoned me with that shit. I said no guacamole. He brought more guacamole. Like, shit. Fucking A. But it's great, though, man. I'm proud of this little show that Mike got going on and shit, you know? Y'all give him a little applause, too, because he needs some. Give him a little applause, a little cameraman. You know I was gonna get at you, Mike. Little Mike Zuckerberg over there. It's my boy, that CEO right there. He don't do shit. Like most CEO, I'm a CEO of my own company too. Cause you know all black people, we always got a company. 
that ain't nobody fucking heard of. Doggy Dog Productions presents nobody. Hey man, let me point it out to you, man. I know that we comedians, we joke about a lot of shit, but sometimes I may joke and sometimes I, I, I may not. But you know what? If you got friends that are rappers and they've been rapping for like 16 years all through high school and shit, now he an adult, he been rapping all his adulthood and you still ain't seen him on TV? Help that nigga out, give him an application or something. You know what I mean? Because you can't be like, man, I'm rapping, man. You're like, what you do for a living? Oh, I rap. You be like, damn, everybody's a rapper. Isn't that crazy? Everybody you meet, they rap. You ain't got shit else to do, so now you're a rapper. You don't even want to be a college student or a doctor or a policeman. They want to be rappers now and sag their pants. Can't stand some of y'all when y'all do that. Especially the ones that had the little doo-doo stains in your drawers. You know, if you're going to sag, man, at least put on clean drawers, man. And the ones that had a multiple stacks, you know, they got the shorts on, they sagging that. Jeans on, they sagging that. Motherfucker, another pair of shorts on, he's sagging that. Can't stand that shit. I, ah, they should make police that just come around and fuck you every time you walk down and street with your pants down. Call them stop and fuck police. Just see you walking, you walking like, yeah, he just come up and slide right up in your ass. I bet you will stop sagging your damn drawers. Big women, I can't forget y'all. Stop wearing small clothes, please. I was on Washington and Rancho. She had that harp tattoo with stretch marks, you know, the word for stretch marks. Man, I thought she was pregnant, but she wasn't. But it was just, she was wearing them, those spandex shirts. I believe if you don't really have a body, you shouldn't wear spandex because that shows the outline of your body. And if you're just like Michelin man size and looking, that shit wrapped in saran wrap looks like nasty ass turkey meat that's been in your refrigerator for several weeks. And like some spoiled ass turkey breast from Food for Less. Now nah, I'ma leave them alone. I'ma leave Food for Less alone. I shopped there. And I steal from them too, so I have to be. <laughs> have you ever stolen a pack of chicken before? Man, stolen food tastes good. I know you have. I see you too. That motherfucker handed me the shopping cart. I mean, you know what? Stolen food tastes the best. I once stole a pack of chicken off a of dare, and also because I had the munchies. So it was a cool dare that he dared it because I was willing to do it. Man, I wore these big ass pants and shit, and I put that pack of meat in my back. I'm already fat, so they just thought it was a piece of my body. <laughs> On top of it all, I stole a box of rice, three packs of Kool-Aid, and I poked a hole in the sugar and got some of my little plastic bag. <laughs> Efficient, man. Fat people are like, good. Fat people are cool to have around, because they always think of shit when you can't think of nothing. You be like, man, what are we going to eat? And I'm like, well, I got like two cans of corn, some tuna, some bread, some mayonnaise, and some relish. We should just make a big-ass tuna casserole. And this works out. If you don't have fat friends, get some. Because I see you looking at me crazy. You must not have fat friends. I guess everybody in here got skinny friends, huh? I hang out with fat people, a lot of them, so that I can be the cutest out the bunch. I, I, mean, I hang out with really obnoxious fat motherfuckers, just, just fat for no reason. There's no reason to be 600 pounds, you know what I'm saying? But I hang out with them, so then when they see me, I look thinner. You know, I try to get that cast on, you know, like I said. And it's just crazy, I had this one friend, he huge as hell, like I'm talking about huge. Like when he's sitting in the back of my car, the front of my shit rolls up a little bit, that type of heavy. Then he had the nerve to like, yo man, I got this girl, she wanna holler at you, though. I'm like, cool, let's go see her. So we go over to Nellis and Bonanza. If y'all know where that's at, don't go over there. East side, you know, crackhead. Uh, you know what I'm saying, we go over there, Nellis and Bonanza and shit. And we like, oh shit, I'm like, oh shit, she got a nice sad little apartment. She actually got curtains and not sheets. It was really nice. But she also too was heavy than a motherfucker. So when she sat in the front of my car, it was really awkward, cause then my shit, I drive a Scion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck you laughing at, like I can't fit in that. Scions are roomy, okay? You know what I'm saying? Good on gas, they roomy. I have a fucking basement with a pole in the fucking movie theater in the back of my sign, I do. That shit is huge. But anyway, let's get back to this fat bitch. So you know what I'm saying, she get in my car, man, so I feel that you're a big person if I gotta share my armrest with you. Cause you know, I'm the one to pay the bills, so why the fuck I gotta share my armrest? 
But I had to share it that day because she was huge as fuck. Like, she was so fat, man, that she didn't even know that she had old gravy on her elbow. That's sick, ain't it? But that's a big bitch, though. That's a fat motherfucker. My shirt's small, can you tell? Let me pull it down a little bit. That's why I stepped back, because I don't want you to see it underneath my gut. Fat people get them bumps, they don't know where the fuck they came from. Like, oh my God, is that a pimple? You busted, you got pus off. Anyway, that's a fat shit. Uh, didn't really want to get on that. It was personal that I got some shit and some problems. They say it was STD, I don't believe it. But anyway, um, we got any uh, low self-esteem women in the house tonight? Oh, just one, just one person? I like low self-esteem women. Better than confident women. Confident women want you to get jobs and shit. I can't stand confident women. Leave me the fuck alone. I like my woman nice, lonely, and depressed. Every time I tell her she look cute, it's a new Jaguar, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I, it is true, black guys always go for them fat, nasty ass white girls that the white boys don't want. Those are the ones we go for. But I gotta go though, man, because you know what? Mike giving me the little roll up sign, which means I gotta go roll up again. He don't smoke, so I do. So it's more, more for me, less for him. But uh, y'all been wonderful though, man. Woo! Get it cracking. I'm about to go. I'm Doughboy. Look me up. Facebook. Cops. All that good shit.